Welcome back. We hope you've had a great Sunday. We have had a great Sunday at Augustine. A Park. great Sunday. A great Sunday. Another great fundraising day. So many people stepping up to the plate and supporting the college. We greatly appreciate the generosity you have shown us over the past six days. Thank you in helping to make this a success. You look like a natural with the little pig skin in your hands. Well, you know, I'm a football mom. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I know a little bit about football. I know the difference between a tight end and a defensive end. And folks, here I thought all she knew was about basketball. Oh, no. it turns out she's a real jack of all sports. <laughs> How many home runs did the Bentler boys score in their football games, Kathleen? You don't, you don't hit home runs in, in oh, football Oh, okay. Games. Well, see, touchdowns. 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 And really, Teddy did play tight end, but my children were, they, for the most part, were linemen, which I'm sure you're Shocker. shocked at because their mother is so petite. So, anyway. Defensive linemen, offensive linemen, we're not picky. Well, we're not going to be talking about a lineman right now. <laughs> we're going to switch gears and talk about a quarterback. Okay. And talk to a quarterback. Okay. And that's uh, Ken Anderson. We spoke with Kenny earlier because he's in South Carolina where he lives, but he wanted to join us via Zoom. So we'll switch to that video so you can hear that conversation now. All right. Well, now we have been joined uh, via Zoom with uh, our good friend Ken Anderson over in South Carolina. Ken, how are you today? Uh, I am doing outstanding and, uh, you know, hope things kind of clear up so I can get back for a football game this fall like I usually do. Yeah, we love seeing you at, uh, I don't know, maybe a certain club that might be named for you. Uh, and uh, w during, the, during the games, it's a, it's a good time to, to hang out and see you around. And I know a lot of our Augie alums uh, who hang out love to see you at those games. So, yeah, we, we definitely hope that you'll be back on campus just like everyone else this fall for some football. Yeah, you know, me too, because that's such a special time, uh, you know, you know, for years when I was uh, playing or, you know, mostly coaching too, you know, it's such a full time year round job, there was never time to get back on campus. But, you know, since I've, I've retired, you know, I've been pretty consistent on getting back there at least once a year. That's right. That's right. Well, we'll hope that we'll see you then. All right. So we're going to run into our three questions with Ken Anderson. So in question number one, Kenny. How did your Augustana experience set you apart from other NFL players who may have come out of larger Division I programs? Well, I, I think, you know, number one, I spent more time in class than probably most of the guys that, that got drafted and were with uh, teams in the NFL. But I think the big difference was, you know, it was a big deal to me. You know, coming from playing at, you know, at, at Erickson Stadium, you know, which we'd have about a thousand people at a game and all of a sudden, you know, Riverfront Stadium holds about 60,000 in Cincinnati where I went to it. And, you know, you're playing in the Orange Bowl and the, the Coliseum, you know, and, and a lot of these guys, if you came from a big school, their facilities were probably better than we had at the Bengals. You know, our practice field was under a viaduct, uh, under the H Street viaduct, and we were near a sewage treatment plant. And sometimes the smell wasn't real good, but I'm going, man, this is the NFL. It was a big deal to me. Maybe not such a big deal to others. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Kathleen's got your next question. I got the real question, Kenny. <laughs> can you still throw a football? You know, I, I can. And, and I get to do it, you know, a couple of times a year. Uh, one of the fundraisers for my foundation is a, a stadium walk uh, down at Paul Brown Stadium. And part of our VIP experience is I take people down there and they get a football and uh, we go, I take them through the locker room, kind of give them a tour of, you know, we behind the scenes tour of where, of where the players are. And then they get to go out on the field and catch a touchdown pass for me. And luckily we have quite a few people that sign up for that experience. So I, I get, it takes a while to get my arm loosened up. But once I go, I can still crank it about 50 yards if I have to. And now, I may not be able to put a shirt on the next day, but the spirals are still pretty good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's great, great answer. <laughs> great. All right, your third and final question during our three questions round. What was the highlight of your Augustana experience off the football field? You know, I, I've been giving a lot of thought to this, and I think definitely it was the people. You know, not only the students, but the faculty. And, you know, being on a campus with, with 2,500 students, um, you get to meet such a, a wide variety of people. And, you know, I was a math major and, and certainly there weren't a lot of people on the football team in my math classes. So that was a whole different world, you know, that I was involved with. And that, you know, and the class size that, you know, you got to know the professors personally and, and, and they became friends as well. And, you know, geez, you think back from, 
you know, the, the kids, uh, you know, in, in my math class, you get in study groups, you know, none of them were athletes and we had a great time together. And, uh, you know, kids from all over the country, you know, kind of think of Augustana as a, a small Midwestern college, but there's kids from California and they're here, they're from New York and they're there from Florida, from foreign countries. So it was just a, the diverse group that you got to hang around and, you know, such talented people and, you know, and, and, you know, Augustan and that life is what shaped me. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I think so many of our, of our student athletes that go on to varying careers, not maybe not into the NFL, uh, but other careers would, would say many of the same things that they are shaped by their, by their experiences, both on the field and off the field. So that's, it's great to hear. Well, that's uh, Kenny Anderson, former Cincinnati Bengals quarterback and Augustan a standout. Ken, anything else you want to add? Well, yeah, you know, today I just put in the mail my donation, you know, for the for the the fundraising activity that's going on now, and and make sure I did it on time so I get my Augie mask. And you know, we're in different times than any of us have ever been through or imagined, and you know, our lives aren't going to be the same for quite a while, I don't think. And you know, certainly the, the way we live is going to change at least. Uh, you know, for the foreseeable future. And one of those is, is wearing a mask. And I can't think of anything I'd rather do than wear an Augie mask. And that was a high priority. Once I saw that, you know, I tend to give, you know, every year to the school, but once I saw I was going to get an Augie mask, it had to go in right away. There you go. All right. We'll make sure it gets in the mail to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken. Well, thanks so much for your time. We look yeah. forward to seeing you on campus soon and uh, take good care and wear that face mask with pride. I will do it and go Vikings. Go Vikings. All right. Thanks, Ken. He's a fun guy to talk to. Great, great guy. Such a great guy. It was an enjoyable conversation. So it really was. Really enjoyed it. He does so much for the college. So thanks, Kenny. We hope to see you thanks for everything. in the fall. Uh, with that, we're going to be back for a couple more days. Tomorrow, we will be um, somewhere. <laughs> we'll let you know. Where are Cat and Sam? It's kind of like a where, where's, where's Lalo? Yeah. Tune in at we'll show up somewhere on campus. Tune in at 11 and 4. Keep those gifts coming in. Those face masks are still up for promotion, so if you get 50 bucks, you get a face mask for you and a face mask for an Augustana student. Boom. Boom. I was ready. 